What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back again with another Red Dead Online video. In this video, I just wanna go over what we have left going on in Red Dead Online for the winter update that Rockstar has put out for us. I have a lot of people asking, hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? Is this still going on? So we're gonna answer all those questions. We're gonna jump into it really quick. Some new stuff's gonna be coming out this week that we previously haven't had. So that'll be a little bit of a change up. So let's just go ahead and get started right away. Again, all the way till January 5th. Most of this stuff all lasts till January 5th. The double money for Trader and Moonshine deliveries is continuing. And it's pretty much almost like economy breaking. As long as you have those rolls ranked up to where you can make the max amount of money, I barely have been trying to do it. And I've been easily making $5,000 a day. And uh, it's just insane. But continuing with that, for showdowns, you have Make It Count and Last Stand. They're putting out three times money and XP and two times gold. And then Gun Rush, which there's also Gun Rush teams which has, you know, Spoils of War, Up in Smoke, Overrun also. It's all paying out double awards. It's Elimination Series and Featured Series that those two fall underneath. Next, the biggest thing they have new coming out for us for the winter update is the Christmas CTAs, the winter CTAs. They're going to be taking place in Coulter, Rhodes, Hanging Dog Ranch, and Emerald Ranch, all under the cover in inclement weather, basically blizzard standard weather. Uh, what you've been seeing in the game right now has just been a little bit here and there, but it does drastically get worse. And successfully reaching the last wave of any of the holiday ones they're calling them, you'll land at 50% off any weapon. Next, keeping up with the Christmas spirit, there's gonna continue the caroling, basically just the musicians and roads, Strawberry, Saint Denis, all those places where you had the guys playing the guitars and the saloons are gonna be playing Christmas music as well. Now there's supposed to be season greetings from Crips, Harriet and Gus. I have heard nothing out of Harriet, a couple comments from Gus, and then a couple just recycled ones we had from, you know, Crips where he kind of talks a little bit nice to the dog and then just barely anything really. I actually expected a lot more out of that. Harriet, for me, like I said, has not said nothing. And then Gus has a little bit in Crips. But either way, be looking out for that. Maybe those kind of ramp up during Christmas week. And to go along with the caroling and stuff and your stuff for Crips, if you go by your camp, you'll notice you have a Christmas tree. If you haven't noticed that already, you probably have. And then your lockbox is decorated. And then if you have a moonshine shack, you have to have the bar extension. And then if you go in there, it'll have the globe lanterns and you have a Christmas tree there as well. And then if you take a look over at St. Denis, about a 20 foot section of the road, which looks cool, but it's only about a 20 foot section of the road, has some Christmas lights going down the middle of town. And now also, if you haven't seen it, this is the good to see it emote you'll get free of charge. You just have to go to any saloon, order a drink for the bartender, and then go ahead and go to your emotes that are already be there for you. Also, the rank lock restrictions have been lifted on the double barrel shotgun, which most of us know about this, but if you're new to the game, it has the Krampus shotgun variant. Of course, you have to buy the shotgun first and then you get the variant, but it only is the opportunity to get the variant because the variant costs 16 gold bars to get it. Uh, between December 14th and January 5th is when that's taking place. And then also, if you already have the Evans repeater, if you don't, you need to get it. But then if you go to the gunsmith, go under variants, you'll see the winner Evans repeater. The variant for that will be completely free to all players as long as you play between December 14th and December 29th. And then between December 26th and January 5th, you receive 10 sticks of volatile dynamite, 20 fire arrows, plus a reward for a free weight loss tonic to help stave away the holiday weight and a reward to clear your bounty in all states to start off the year with a clean slate. And then between December 28th and January 5th, bring in player bounties alive for 2000 bounty hunter XP and cold and dead for $200. And then likewise deliver any legendary or the infamous bounties. You have to have the prestigious bounty to do those dead or alive to receive two of the Hawk moth bolus. And then you also get the winter shotgun coat for logging in on those dates too. So you'll get all that stuff towards the end of the month, uh, you know, for just logging into the game. And then finally, just go over them again. Everybody probably knows about it, but some people just may not know. They might just got the game. The discounts are still running. Five gold bars off the bounty hunter license and the prestigious bounty hunter license. 50% off bolus, 40% off novice promising and established bounty hunter roll items. 
30% off the bounty wagon, that's really good. 40% off roll weapon variants, 30% off ammo, 40% off Brenton horses, 40% off sniper rifles. Definitely pick those up. It is going to be the rolling block and the Carcano. 40% off single bandoliers, which don't really do anything and they just orbit your body all weird. But that is it, guys. I just wanted to put everything that we had left going on for the winter update that Rockstar let us know about and what to expect. All the way through January 5th, the snow more likely will stop right about the same time too. So just wanted to keep you guys updated. If you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, any news updates that we have going on, hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.